people who were engaged at one point but never got married, what happened? When my fiancé and I were dating I never got to meet his mom because she refused to see me. I heard from his sister that it was because she didn't want to meet the woman that stole her son from her and I thought that was really weird. I told my fiancé about it but he laughed it off and said she's just very protective. He was right, though I had no idea just how extreme her protection would get. When we got engaged I had to meet her and the first thing she said was, I didn't think my son would settle for someone so fat. I was shocked. I was aware that I didn't have the body of Bella Hadid, but she literally looked like she ate the wedding cake before the wedding even happened. Granted, we looked like we were both the same size. I ignored her comment though because we were going to be family soon, and I just tried to be as nice as possible. Though I quickly realized that was a waste of time because she spent the entire night being overly possessive of her son. When we were eating, she started feeding him and called him a good boy every time he took a bite, and she was feeding him very small bites. Afterwards we watched a movie so I didn't get to speak to my fiancé about it. But I realized I got new material to talk about because she swooped in and sat on my fiancé's lap before I even got to the couch. I gave my fiancé the what the f look and he just smiled and said, don't worry, she's just making sure you know who had me first. What? I couldn't even enjoy the movie because my fiancé had his hand on his mom's thigh and she was smirking the entire time. It was disgusting and I almost got up to throw up like five times. By that point I was surprised my fiancé even came to sleep in our bedroom and not in the guest room with his mom. I finally got the chance to talk to him and he said that this was totally normal and I shouldn't freak out about it. If anything, he joked about it, saying that I had some competition for his attention. I told him I shouldn't have to compete with his mom. He just shrugged and said that I should get some rest because I'm going wedding dress shopping with his mom the next day. I told him that I hadn't invited her, I only invited my mom and sister. He said that he didn't think it was fair his mom wasn't invited and she really wanted to go too so he already told her she could. I was so pissed I couldn't even sleep well. At the bridal shop the next day, she kept making comments about every dress I tried on like, you might want to skip dessert tonight if you plan on fitting into that by the wedding. And you sure you want something so fancy? It's not really your style. Then, she started insisting that we choose a dress that was flattering for both of us. She said I should let her borrow it after the wedding, but she didn't forget to add an A if it even happens. I straight up thought she was trying to hijack my wedding and get married to her son. The problem was, we were the same size so it's not like I could get a dress that didn't fit her. But then I realized that I could do that, I just needed to lose weight. So, I started working out and using Obvi Elite to help me lose weight much faster. I lost 3 pounds in one week and then 5 the next. It was only 8 pounds but it was enough for my fiancé's mom to notice. She started making comments about me upstaging her on her special day, and said that I was crushing her dreams of borrowing the wedding dress. When my fiancé noticed her crocodile tears, he said I shouldn't starve myself for the wedding and tried to feed me bigger portions of food. I could see his mom giving me that Charlie Kirk smile the entire time, but I wasn't going to fall for her petty tricks. After consistently working out and taking Obby Elite, I lost 30 pounds before the wedding. So, I went to get a wedding dress again alone this time. I actually couldn't believe what my body looked like in those dresses. It was a stark difference from when I went the first time. I quite literally had the same body as Bella Hadid. Well not really but I like to tell myself that. It was hard choosing a dress because I loved how much better these all looked on my body. But I ended up choosing a fit and flare wedding dress and kept it a secret, until I received the dress. My fiancé's mom threw a fit immediately. She said, what's the point of me coming to the wedding if I'm just going to be outshined by some wannabe supermodel? My fiancé hadn't seen my wedding dress but told me that I should return it. I was firm in saying no and I could see she wasn't happy about it. She decided to drop it, and suggested we go eat and I thought she was trying to overfeed me again. I kept my guard up, but I didn't think anything of it when she excused herself to go to the bathroom. About 10 minutes passed and she still hadn't returned and that's when both me and my fiancé knew something happened. He was worried for his mom, saying that she probably fell and got hurt so he rushed to the bathroom. When he said she wasn't there, I knew exactly where she would be. I ran to my bedroom and I shrieked when I found her trying to squeeze herself into my dress. My fiancé heard me scream so he came in and while I was nearly having a panic attack he sighed in relief because his mom wasn't hurt. I went over because the dress was bound to rip from the way she was trying to pull it over her stomach rolls. She put it feet first remember this. We were basically battling, with me trying to pull my dress down and her pulling it up. She said that the stupid thing won't fit but that couldn't be possible because she's skinnier than me. I called her delusional because the dress couldn't go past her rolls, meanwhile it fit me like a bodycon dress. In our fuss, we caused too much stress on the dress and it tore. I literally froze when I heard the rip. We both let go when that happened and the dress fell. Here's why I told you to remember that she put the dress on feet first. When it fell, I found out she wasn't wearing any underwear and I ended up seeing her whole wrinkly coochie. I let out the most blood-curdling scream and my legs almost gave out from shock, but then I realized that if I fell I would come face to face with it so I jumped back. Mind you, my fiancé was still in the room so he saw it too and when she noticed, she said he came out of there so he could look. But she called me a pervert for looking. She then put some clothes on and I looked at my torn up dress and tried not to cry. But then I heard her telling my fiancé that their plan couldn't work anymore because his dumb fiancé decided to lose weight. I asked them what they were talking about and she was more than happy to tell me she was going to wear the wedding dress I bought, because neither of them wanted me to look better than her. My fiancé clarified, saying that he didn't want his mom to be humiliated in front of all our family and friends. But because I decided to work out and take Avi Elite, I got skinny and the dress got torn beyond repair so now it was useless, just like my engagement ring. 